Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are gonna be talking about all things skincare. This is going to be my favorite skincare products of 2020. Whoa, what a year it has been to begin with. And two, I've really gone into a skincare journey this year, especially because of the whole lockdown situation and learning about my skin and everything. And granted, to this day, it is not clear yet. One day it will be, but if I carry on my routine, which eventually I will be doing a skincare routine once I've used the products for over a month each, so at least you know. Um, and then once it has kind of cleared my skin as well, which I'm hoping for. So I've no idea how long this video is gonna be. It's probably gonna be hella long because there is a lot of products sat right next to me. And I will try to do them in order, so like cleansers and stuff like that. So kicking it off, I'm gonna actually go with Caroline Hiram's skincare book. It's actually in my other room. And if I'm honest, there's a lot of stuff around me, but this is what it looks like. And it's so good. It is so good if you have no idea about skincare even if you know about skincare it really really helps you so much and i have read it i'm not even kidding over five times already the entire book and i keep flipping back to certain situations just double check in amazing amazing gift for anyone amazing just for yourself i treated myself for it and it is so so good honestly cannot recommend it enough So let's kick it off, shall we? Now, the full size product of this is currently in my mum shower because my mum uses this one. Now, I know it's kind of like, oh, but what about you? My mum's used this for over a year now and she is kind of obsessed with it. And I can see such a difference with her skin with this. And I know a bit about it because it is from the brand La Roche Posay. So it is the Effaclar cleanser. Now I've got the little miniature one here just so I haven't got to get the drenched one out there. <laughs> um, but this is absolutely incredible. It's so, so good. And um, back in November 2019 now, I was very, very kindly asked to go to the La Roche Posay event, which was absolutely amazing, talking about all things adult acne. And there's a couple more La Roche Posay products down here because they really have helped. So, this was one of the um, cleansers. I didn't use this one, I used the other one, which we'll talk about in a second. And this is absolutely amazing. It is so, so good. The Everclar range is for oily, sensitive skin, um, also with people that suffer from acne and bits and pieces like that. La Roche Posay, if you don't know, they are um, a dermatologist kind of brand, it is French. All that jazz it is so so good i honestly have seen such a difference with my skin and then i decided to just you know stop using the three products that were my holy grails with la roche posay and then started trying other stuff and i broke out a whole lot again so that's my bad but i'm starting to rekindle it again but the cleanser that i was using that i was told to use i was gifted this one i've purchased and i've purchased many more after the one that i was gifted because it is chef's kiss and this is the everclar h derma soothing hydrating cleansing cream again tested on oily acne prone skin it is insane it is so so good it is absolutely brilliant it does the job it works so so well it helped my skin so much it's ridiculous how well it helped it and i just oh my god i just cannot express enough how nice it felt as well it's really nice and creamy um it's not foamy nothing like that and i find with oily skin foams just don't really work well for me or my mum because my mum's got oily acne prone skin as well and yeah just the creams and the gels are a whole lot better so if you're after more of a cream definitely the effaclar h if you're after a gel then just the normal blue effaclar one um i just want to say as well i wasn't asked to promote them or anything like that these are my recommendations and yeah sticking with another hydrating cleanser which i absolutely loved and this bottle has lasted me months and months and months and months and months which is incredible is the CeraVe hydrating cleanser this is fragrance free and ideally it is it does say for normal to dry skin which is really really good however for my oily acne prone skin being very very dehydrated this hydrating cleanser has helped me so much I literally have I can't even see I think I have like literally like that much left it has done me so well and so many months i use it for my morning cleanse like i would um with this one so i'm waiting for this to finish and then i can start this one because it's a brand new one 
and yeah i use it for my morning cleanse it's so nice and gentle my skin i do know so many people really either love cerave or it just doesn't work for their skin which is such a shame but it's so affordable as well really really nice again by dermatologists well developed with dermatologists and it's amazing so so good highly recommend it, especially if you're more of a younger kind of um, age range and you know you, you don't have the funds to splurge out on certain products certain brands um, that's a really good place to start with it's, again with the Cetaphil one as well I have haven't tried that actually uh, but loads of people love that as an alternative the next cleanse I, ha I have is a gentle milk cleanser now milk cleansers are again so good so so good but this is the Avene uh, gentle milk cleanser it is quite half French half English so I don't really know but this is for dry to very dry sensitive skin I was recommended to use this one when I messed up my skin barrier now I overstripped my skin if you know about skincare and you've clicked on this video you're kind of going to know what skin barrier is but for those that don't know a skin barrier is basically your skin <laughs> and a barrier no brainer and um I overstripped it I was using too many um acids on it everything like that and it just it was stinging even put moisturizer on and that is not good so I had to cut back everything really really simplify my skincare routine so I use this as my am one this is my pm cleanse as my second pm cleanse because obviously you need to double cleanse double cleansing is important and this has really really helped me I've got that much left out of the bottle and it's lasted me for a good two three months you know like really really done well this bottle which is so good and I do two pumps so I've got quite a bit in my hands you can definitely just only use one pump um but this was really really nice um I like I said I use it for um my second cleanse and everything but even just like as a morning cleanse it's really really nice because it's that milk cleanser which is so nourishing on your skin I cannot express it enough so sticking with milk cleansers this is actually a um makeup remover but it's a four in one wash off so this is actually by soap and glory i used this so many times in 2019 like it was my holy grail cleanser um makeup remover so again i thought when those products run out i can use this as my pm cleanser so this is what this one looks like i love it so much it's called peaches and clean amazing four in one wash off deep cleansing milk specially uh, clogged pore formula with peach and go juice extract melts away makeup for all skin types it's a 350 ml bottle which i think is amazing and it smells like peaches which is one of my absolute favorite scents of all time like oh my god that just brought back so much like memories you know when a smell just brings back like childhood I love this. I love this so much. I think I've just opened it by accident. There we go. Um, so yeah, basically four in one, it says it's a wash and glow, purify your face and neck with a couple of pumps of peaches and clean every evening or morning. If you fall asleep with your makeup on, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Rinse well, then massage on your moisturizer. I honestly love it so much. I know certain brows just won't work with people's skin. So probably the, like the four products that I've recommended so far, five, including this one, probably that may or may not work for you but it is trial and error as you can see i've got loads of different brands so many people say you should always stick with the same brand for your skincare and i tried it i tried it with la roche posay with three products it worked amazing really really recommended it and then i wanted to invest more in you know i wanted a nice cyanamide serum i wanted this i wanted that i wanted a hyaluronic acid one and i didn't actually want to try the la roche posay ones there was nothing against it it's just i heard recommendations from other brands so i thought i'd try them ones first um, and still to this day i haven't actually tried the la roche posay um kind of those serums and stuff so the only products i've got here from la roche are the ones that i've tried so um yeah i mean it, it's entirely up to you and you know what you feel works for your skin and what doesn't this is an oldie goldie classic for me and i saw it was on offer the other day or the other month actually in boots and i was like i'm gonna pick her up ready for when mine run out <laughs> And the last out of cleansers is actually a cleansing balm. Now this, again, if you know me, if you've watched me for a while, especially like my old school favorites and empties videos, it's a favorite, it's a classic, and it is the Body Shop Chamomile Sumptuous Cleansing Butter. This product is 11 pounds, it is so affordable. The Body Shop range is so, so good. I cannot express it enough. There is something that will work for, I'm pretty sure, everyone as well there is one thing that will absolutely work for you um certain brands and certain ranges from the body shop don't work well with me which is a shame but i've tried others and they work amazing so it is just kind of like 
trial and error, hit and miss, it just depends. And yeah, this one is just incredible. It's so affordable. And even when you're wearing your SPF, which we'll get onto soon, SPF is so important and you really need to cleanse it off, especially with a balm. You can see how much I love this because I have only a little bit left. This is again, another affordable one, very good highly recommend so so nice on your skin i don't find it's pore clogging it's got the calming chamomile extracts and it's also suitable for sensitive skin which um it says there the chamomile range from the body shop is so good there is a eye makeup remover which unfortunately with my eyes doesn't work as well because i wear contact lenses my eyes are so sensitive which is a shame but other people with contact lenses have tried it and they love it so kind of hit and miss really um but yeah there is so so much which from the body shop you absolutely need to try it's so good okay the next range i'm gonna go on is um kind of like toners and exfoliants and stuff um i'm just looking at my other bits and pieces and to be honest they i have categories but not really categories you know i don't know <laughs> anyway so the first product which is brand new again which i found in my collection i was like girl go off is a la roche posay product this again is what i was using with my cleanser then i would go over with my toner and then my moisturizer which i'll show you later on um but this is the Everclar range again this is a uh, i'm trying to read the english not the french it's an anti micro exfoliant anti blackheads this is tested on oily acne prone skin and this is great because this is as far as i'm aware i'm positive it's got salicylic acid yeah it's got salicylic acid in which is great it's got glycerin it's really really nice it really helps with your blackheads it's so so good so as like a little combo you would use your cleanser first then your toner and then your moisturizer which is great and this range is honestly like La Roche's best sellers I swear to god they are so so good it really helped with my skin it really helped counteract my blemishes which was really good so I really liked that a lot and then the next toner that I have is a little exfoliant. And this, when I first used it, the next morning, I was in shock. And everyone you talk to, everyone in the skincare game, everyone that has used this product will say it's magic in a bottle. I don't know what's in it to just be absolutely amazing. It is a BHA liquid exfoliant, which is salicylic acid. And basically this helps to unclog and shrink in large pores, smooths and even skin tone. And it is by Paula's Choice. Now, this is the little one that I have had for, I'm not even kidding, like three months. And I've still got, I'd say about that much left. Like it is crazy how much is still in this product. I think I paid about eight pounds or something for this travel size one because I wanted to try a little one before I splurged on the big one. But I've noticed such a difference. Now I use this in the evenings. You can use it like every day if you want to, if it works for your skin, you know, if your skin can take it. Even though it says like you can wear it, you can do it AM and PM um, on the back of the bottle please go by your skin not just what it says and make sure you're using it correctly it's so important and because it's an exfoliant as well and it's an acid you need to follow up with sun cream it's so so important you do not want to get acid burns trust me my mum overstripped her skin and she got acid burns and it was scary but it was all good we managed to save it so anyway getting off track this video is going to be like five hours i really like this so much that i purchased the full size one for Griswold i was like do you know what i'm gonna do it i'm gonna run low on this eventually and run out so i got the big one and i love it so much it's lightweight like it says liquid absorbs quickly it's so bloody good i cannot express it enough i just put a few drops onto a cotton pad and wipe it around my face which to be fair i should do it on my hands and just go all round. but the cotton pads have been working really well for me which is good and to be fair, I had quite a few blemishes around here and they did actually go. Like the bumps have gone down. My pores don't look as big. It really helps unclogging them. I just cannot express my love for these products. And I'm not just saying that because you know they're brands and that it's like, oh, this, that and whatever. They may not work for you. Please do remember that. But it is trial and error. I have tried some of these products for two months now, two months plus or even a month plus. And they're working for my skin i really am enjoying them otherwise i wouldn't be recommending them to you okay we're gonna go in with scary uh serums and acids and retinol as well so first product i tried that everyone and the nan most probably are obsessed with and have tried and i think it was like april last year that i was really really 
obsessed with is the ordinary niacinamide 10% and zinc 1%. So this is what it looks like. I am not gonna lie, I loved this when I first tried it. This is gonna help um, your oil control, it's gonna help um, get into the nitty grits of your um, sports and you know, pimples and breakouts and stuff like that, but it won't necessarily 100% get rid of them. It's gonna help your skin tone. It's gonna help even out your skin texture, everything like that. There is nothing that this cannot do. It's a really good blemish formula though, and it's, but I wouldn't use it as a spot treatment, if that makes sense, like in replacement if you have one. I did put them on specific spots and they did go, but then after a while they came back a little bit more viciously, but I don't know if that was just me. This I did really like. I went through two bottles and then I found that it was, I just wasn't really liking the way it was sitting on my face. So I was trying different ones and I kind of ventured off to a second one, which I will show you in a second. If I'm honest, for your first time trying niacinamide, I would absolutely reach for the ordinary one. It's literally like five pounds, six pounds, seven pounds, probably max. A really, really good start into introducing niacinamide into your skincare, basically. So speaking of the next product, I have actually recently started this and loved it. I say recently, it's definitely been over two months now, or coming to two months which I think is amazing because of how much is left in there which you can see right there I'm not sure if you can actually that's annoying basically it's here okay <laughs> so this is by the brand face theory I had never heard of these right this brand but they've got some great products and basically this serum is called the pore bright n10 serum it's non-comedonic 10% niacinamide and as azelic acid azelic acid i don't know how you say that serum basically it's for all skin types and this is the one product that i have seen a huge huge difference with i cannot express enough my love for this product this brand in general because they will give you a whole year for like a full refund if the product doesn't work for you or makes your skin worse or irritates you or you have an allergic reaction they will give you their money back they will give you your full money refund back like i just so so good i really like this so much i use this in the morning now i did used to use it in the evening but i've now decided to use it in the morning because obviously with my exfoliant as well i don't want to mix acids if that makes sense there's certain acids that you really shouldn't mix with and if i talk about that i'll be here for literally 10 years so if you are interested definitely have a search on youtube because there are some great skincare youtubers out there that can go fully in depth i'm not you know like a professional or anything like that this is kind of what i've learned and the products that i love so yeah, <laughs> but this is amazing. This has really helped with my skin. It's helped me clear my skin. It's helped my skin, it's texture, my tone, everything. It's helping my skin be brighter, controlling my, um, my acne. It's helping with the discoloration in my acne as well. And, um, you know, like fading the acne scars, which are left over, which is beautiful. And speaking of kind of like fading them down and everything, originally I did purchase the Paula's Choice 10% uh, as azelic acid, I think, booster with licorice and salicylic acid. This was pricey. However, I really, really did like this as well. I thought this was very, very good. And what I used to do is because it is a cream, I would mix it in with either my moisturizer in the morning or in the evening and literally just rub it in you can use it after moisturizer or before moisturizer i believe but i would always even mix it with my moisturizer as i had a cream one at the time um or i would um, put it on before if i if i had like a gel one but i really like this i only use this for two weeks so i can't say a huge difference purely because when I started, uh, it really was helping my acne scarring fade down as well, the coloring in that. So I was really, really happy with that. But then I got that Pore Bright product and I didn't want to mix and it had az az azilic, azalic acid, you know what I mean, in it. So I didn't want to overdo it with the acid, which is such a shame because I really do like this. So I think eventually somehow I'll introduce it again, but I did really, really like that product a lot. So yes it is a bit more pricier um and some of these brands are going to be a lot more pricier than others but it's key it it works if it works for you it, then great definitely try get like a little sample if you can or a travel size to try before the next product is a 
holy grail as well it's a hyaluronic acid serum now this is so important to have if you have dehydrated skin if you're dry if you're sensitive if you're um oily like me sensitive i think as well if you're dry or oily you're gonna have dehydrated skin hun and we need the extra hydration the extra boost as you can see i am quite shiny but i have used a glowy primer but this is most probably my oil slowly coming through so you can see my gist you can see my problem <laughs> it's 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 a work it's working okay it's it's it's, it's a long process <laughs> but this is my hyaluronic acid serum i love this this again is quite pricey but i have really really been enjoying it and it is the vinci mineral 89 booster and it is phenomenal as you can see how much i've used it how much i love it so so good i think as well this this is definitely over two months as well that i've used this this is probably the longest one that i've used and i just think it's amazing but i really like this and another great tip is apply your hyaluronic acid to wet skin apply your moisturizer and your hyaluronic acid serums to wet skin and it sinks in a lot better it helps the product do its job and if you're saying like well oh, how am i meant to wet my skin i'm going to be talking about that in a second with hydrating mist as well so yeah it's it's all a process your routine is key guys <laughs> So the next serum is actually a lactic acid one. So this is by The Ordinary. This I haven't used that much of because you really don't need a lot of it, but now my mum is using it because I've been using other serums and stuff. Uh, but what I did use it for was basically to help with my blemishes as well, um, helping with my skin texture, all that jazz really. And it is the lactic acid 5% and hyaluronic acid included. Now with this, they do a 10% the ordinary and a 5% and start off with the 5%. I would only recommend using this at least like once or twice a week. Don't mix it with um, other serums, other acids, stuff like that because you could get some acid burns. Again, you have to read up much more about lactic acid. Basically, it's a mild healing formulation. So it is an exfoliant, which is really, really good. The next product is my retinol. Now, retinol. Some people may not have any idea about it. I had no idea when I first started. And retinol you should really be using when you're kind of 25 plus, apparently. Um, I am 25 in March. So obviously I'm starting just a little baby bit early, but you know, why not? <laughs> and this is actually from the inky list. This is the retinol, which helps reduce, reduce the signs of aging. Now I'm sure you're all thinking, why, why have you got retinol you don't have aging you're not aging what are you doing <laughs> but basically with this it is um to use in the pm only on cleansed skin apply a pea-sized amount to the face and neck if using alongside other serums layer in any order start every other or every third night and build to every night but use consistently for maximum results so i don't use this every night i've told my mum not to use her one every night because she has the same one this is a really good retinol to start off with if you have no idea so this is why i have this one um and basically the oh my god the feel of it is so good it's not like a liquid or jelly serum it's more like a creamy kind of vibe and granted i am slowly seeing some kind of difference i'm not saying 100 percent. i've been using it for over a month now yeah definitely over a month and i do really like it for a retinol it's not strong it doesn't sting it doesn't scar my face and basically let's get to the point the retinol oh you're right <laughs> the retinol is going to help eventually with um your acne breakouts breakouts in general that you'll never get them again it's going to help with your skin texture again as well you can probably see a a, you know a very repetitive situation because i have really bad texture i say really bad it is quite bumpy lumpy i just want nice skin that's all i want is it that hard please it's gonna help with obviously aging signs with fine lines wrinkles all that jazz it is basically gonna be your absolute best friend and i just cannot express it enough but when you use retinol you must must wear spf the next day even if it's a very low dosage of retinol you must wear spf the next day it is so important for your skin especially with the sun damage you know you could really burn and damage your skin 
So I'm gonna go on to a couple of um, mists now before we go on to the moisturizer. And this one I've really, really been enjoying. Now this is by um, Superdrug's own brands, which is the Vitamin E Skincare. This is a hydrating mist. This is so affordable, it's so good. Now this mist is really, really gonna help your skin hydrating. It's really nice just to mist it over during the day for you as well. And I always, always um, cleanse my face then I go in with a mist, then I do my serum, I mist again, then I go on with my uh, hyaluronic acid serum, and then if, if I'm feeling a little bit sucked in too much, then I'll mist again, but sometimes the hyaluronic acid serum is absolutely fine to then put my moisturizer on with. It's just so nice, and I think because it's so affordable, it's so hydrating for your skin, vitamin E is really, really good. It's got soothing aloe vera in there, which instantly revitalizes and tones the face, giving a boost of moisture with each spray. It's so, so good for your skin. Just get a hydrating mist, whether it's a high-end one or, a, you know, just a more affordable one. There isn't really that many hydrating um, mists that I found on the market. I know there is a couple from Pixie, which I've actually got one for Christmas. I got one in my Glossy Box Advent Calendar. Then I asked for one, I think, and then I got, I just purchased one because I thought, why not? <laughs> so can't help myself so yeah i'm on the hunt for really really good hydrating mist so if you guys know any please do let me know below the next product isn't really a mist as such but i've really really been enjoying it um i really haven't used a lot of it at all if i'm honest but this was a little sample size that i did purchase of the saint tropez self tan purity this is a bronzing water face mist now this is for natural glowing skin obviously my skin with my spots and stuff is still a bit like meh with this it really does help give a nice like kind of glowy vibe but if my skin was clear it would be better some people don't mind their skin um, the way it is but with me I've been on a massive journey with it. I've struggled with it pretty much a very, very long, long time throughout the years in my life. And I don't want my face to be spotty anymore. I've had enough. <laughs> so that's my little sad story gone. But this is what it looks like. It's very, very small, this one. And it's really, really good. It's a really nice mist. It just mists out all bronzy and everything. Oh, it was so satisfying, wasn't it? Ooh. It smells great. And oh my God, my hand's going to be all bronze now. <laughs> and yeah i really do like it i really do like it and trying again a uh, sample size is perfect because the full size one is a little bit more pricey i believe but i really like it so it's worth it <laughs> now we're going on to moisturizers so these two are definitely holy grails now the first one is the finale of the la roche Fossey trio that I've been using and had been using which really helped my skin which is the final in the Effaclart set it's the Effaclart duo plus this is the corrective unclogging care anti-imperfection imperfections moisturizer this is so good you can use this morning and night it is amazing again it is going to help with your imperfections with your skin texture your skin tone i've got an itchy nose um yeah it just locks everything in place it's a really nice jelly kind of formula jelly cream as such and it is so so good really affordable especially if you can get them in a set which i believe you can do on the la roche posay website i think you can on like feel unique and look fantastic in places like that too oh my god it's so so good it really really is fantastic but i decided to actually switch to another moisturizer to try different ones but I would absolutely go back to this 100%. However, the next one I've really, really been enjoying just a little bit too much. And I haven't even finished the tub yet and I cannot wait for it to be finished so I can buy a new one. Ugh, it is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel Moisturizer. Oh my good God, if you have oily skin, and you are struggling with a moisturizer gel is the way forward do not get thick heavy creams it's not going to help you dehydrate its skin this is very very jelly like i don't know if you can see see it running there we go Ooh, didn't want to you know tip that everywhere it smells quite nice it smells quite fresh actually it smells like oh fresh water I don't know but I really really like this I've loved it so much I use this as my morning and evening um, moisturizer really affordable as well I think it's like five six pounds or whatever and I got it for four pound fifty in boots because it was on offer and I was like hello you knew I was coming in for you and yeah I've been recommended this so so much you get 50 mil which is fantastic so yeah you really really don't need a lot and whenever I put it on my skin as well I feel so 
hydrated. I feel so fresh and awake with it as well. And that's exactly what you need when you start work at half five in the morning some days. <laughs> So we're gonna go on to SPF now, which should be your final stage in your AM skincare routine, girls and guys. You need SPF, it's so important. So my two favorites, oh, I haven't tried hundreds and hundreds, don't get me wrong, because um, I've only just started using SPF this year. So I am one of the bad ones, don't get me wrong. But if you want your retinol to work, you want your serums to work, you want your moisturizer and everything, SPF is so important. So if you literally are struggling, get a moisturizer with a really good high SPF in. Technically, you meant to have them separate, don't get me wrong, but if you had to, you know, if you could not afford separate ones, then yeah, just just try that way. <laughs> so the first one that I've absolutely been loving is by La Roche-Posay. <laughs> I love you guys, <laughs> I can't help it. And this is the Anthelios, I think that's how you say it, I do not know. This is the 50 plus SPF, and this is adorable. Look how small and diddy she is. It is so, so cute, but it's pocket size, so there's no bloody excuse that you don't wear your SPF. Granted, SPF 50 in the winter times, probably not as much needed, probably SPF 30 max, but SPF 50 in the summer, holy guacamole, she was a godsend. Really, really good. I've had this since um, the summer as well, and it's still I've still got like that much. I, I just, she's just not going. You have to shake it up beforehand, of course, but it's so good, so, so good. It's a really nice light texture as well. It's not, it's quite runny. Um, it sets into your skin really nice. It's not really greasy, I don't find anyway, especially for my oily skin. Amazing, cannot recommend it enough. However, however, if you are thinking to a uh, slightly less one, I also really, really enjoyed the Body Shop Vitamin E lotion spf 30 this was amazing for me during the summer as well but i upped it to an spf 50 purely for the summer times but once that has gone i'm going to be using this in the winter months again i really really like this a lot it's a really really nice formula it's so nice and smooth as well it's not thick it's not heavy it is quite runny as well which is good so this is what it looks like. It's so, so, oh my God, that's so much. Um, but it is kind of like a watery kind of feel. There we go, just gonna turn my hands to the window <laughs> to be ring light. And yeah, I, oh my God, it's so soft. It smells incredible. And you know with vitamin E as well, you know that's gonna be so nice and nourishing for your skin. So nice and smooth and calming and gentle. And I really like this one so much. I got my mum hooked on it as well. And yeah, it is just fantastic. And this lasts so long. It's ridiculous how long it lasts. Like it just wasn't ending, just wasn't ending. <laughs> Now the next products I'm gonna talk about are some face masks and these are my absolute holy grail favorites. I definitely need to invest in more different masks but whenever I try to buy a new one or I've bought some without trying them, it's because I just keep going back to these ones and I can't really help it if I'm honest. I just, whenever I need a face mask and at the moment I'm just doing one face mask a week, um, and I just kind of keep picking these ones up and I really need to calm it down but I can't, when you know you're so used to a, a, like a face mask that works for you, it's hard to try others, I'm not gonna lie. So, the first one is by The Body Shop and this is the Himalayan Charcoal Purifying Glow Mask. If you have oily skin, if you have acne prone skin, if you have dull, boring, dehydrated skin, I'm sorry if I'm attacking you right now, but this is gonna be your best friend. It literally is, it smells so good, I think in my opinion anyway. This one is basically at the end, which is such a shame. And she's kind of dried out, which again, is such a shame. As you can see, very, very well loved. So this is honestly, whenever, ever I use this face mask the next morning, my face just looks so much better. The spots and the acne and the pimples and the breakouts and the blackheads, everything is just calmed down. Like. It's like something's really hit them. It's like, bitch, you need to get down. You need to go like, this isn't what's happening. You know, leave Steph alone. So I just, I cannot express enough my love for this mask. They can be a little bit pricey, the Body Shop mask, but it's in um, a glass jar. It really does the work. Like you, this, 
this jar will last you so long this jar will absolutely last you like over half a year and i'm not even exaggerating i have used this for definitely over half a year before and it's only just like finished basically like with the tiniest little bit that's dried up but you know what i mean like you really don't need a lot when you're using it as well and definitely don't have it on for any longer than um 10 minutes i think personally once it basically comes to like where it's almost fully dry that's when you need to wash it off and wash it off with your hands and then go over with a flannel that's honestly like the best way i found to get it off and I just <sighs> my love for it is just ridiculous <laughs> now the next mask is a fantastic product however in the year 2020 i didn't even know about it until i saw and read so many silly teenagers especially on tiktok misuse it it is the ordinary aha and bha healing solution aka z blood mask if you'll call it that it's not really blood don't worry but it kind of really does look like blood right watch me try not to dribble this everywhere it definitely feels like fake blood it's so so cool this is very scary this is 30 percent aha and two percent bha like the ordinary actually had to produce a video on how to use this product properly do not leave it on your skin for longer than 10 minutes like it says if you cannot do 10 minutes because it is stinging or anything you need to take it off if your skin cannot cope with 10 minutes which mine and my mum's can and we tested this product out as well if you're interested leave it in the description box below as well for you but honestly, I really like this. It's a 10 minute exfoliating facial. It even says it on the bloody front, man. It's a 10 minute exfoliating facial. Like, oh, it's got to be on a clean face. Wait for skin to dry. Do not use on wet skin. Apply evenly across face and neck using fingertips. Avoid the eye area. Leave on for no more than 10 minutes. Rinse thoroughly with lukewarm water. Do not use on sensitive, peeling or compromised skin. Avoid the eye contour. Blah, blah, blah. It's really, really good. It's helping with my skin texture. It's helping with my spots and everything as well. So if I'm honest, the same products that I'm using, they do kind of do the same thing, but in different ways, if that makes sense. So, you know, lactic's different to, uh, you know, cyanamide and hyaluronic acid and stuff. So yeah, it is a journey. It's a very big journey, but... This is a good one if you know how to use it. If you don't know how to use it and you're just watching silly people on TikTok, you need to reevaluate yourself and educate yourself, if I'm honest, in the nicest way possible. <laughs> now, the next product I literally cannot recommend enough. It's a godsend, it is beautiful. It helps me so much with my skin barrier when I've really stripped it and effed up my skin. And it is by La Roche Posay. <laughs> and it is the Sislapas. I don't know how you say it. Basically, it's an antibacterial agent soothing repairing balm. I think this is the biggest one that you can get. And it is amazing. It's a really, really nice size balm. It's so good. You can put it on anywhere. If your skin is really, really irritated, if you've uh, really hurt yourself, um, even on like, say, like cuts and bruises and stuff anything at all it really helps your skin i had this awful awful um cystic spot that came up um i didn't pop it it did burst when i was um washing my face flannel and it left the most horrendous after scar situation and it was stinging it hurt it literally hurt to touch and it was it was down here so i couldn't even open my mouth properly to eat and it was just the most horrendous pain ever and i was just like i can't i can't do anything so i put this on it and my god it helped they actually do a lip balm version as well and i actually picked one up for my mum and my boyfriend as well because they really suffer with really dry lips um my mum had like this situation where i think she cut or cut or bit into her lip and it just wasn't healing she put this lip balm on and she put the balm on first before i got the lip balm and it was healing already and i was like Bitch. 
La Roche girls, guys, I love, I love it. It's so, so good. Any of these like repairing antibacterial balms are gonna be so, so good. I know Dr. Jart do one as well and I've actually got one in my other room, but I haven't tried it because obviously I've been using this one. I don't really need to use this as much anymore because luckily I don't have any, you know, touch words, any of those problems anymore, but I always have it on hand. Even if like, say I bite my lip or something or have a really bad um, like spot situation, then that's when I will use it. So yeah, I love it. And then the last two items are actually, uh, they're kind of skincare gadgets, electrical situations. And they're by the brand Foreo, or Foreo? Foreo? Foreo, Foreo? I should know, I don't know. Um, but the one product, uh, that I'm going to talk about first was actually gifted to me very very incredibly gratefully I never thought that day would come especially for that brand I have always been a fan of them I really have wanted to try the cleansing um, electric plastic silicone situation um, and then they sent me the mask this UFO mask which Ooh, has helped my skin so much so if I'm not using a clay mask or an exfoliating acid mask I will use this, it's beautiful, look at her. She's so cool. Again, I did a testing review video on this product as well. So if you are interested, I'll link that down below and up top, but it is absolutely amazing. It is so, so good. I could sit here and talk about it forever and ever, but I know this video is long already. There's so many different masks as well that will suit everyone's skin type. It is absolutely incredible. And then the last product I'm gonna talk about, which again is by Foreo, Foreo is the Luna Mini 2 cleansing silicon situation. I don't even know what to call it, brush as such? Brush, I think. This is amazing. This is so, so good. I have really, really been enjoying this as well. However, I decided to overstrip my skin, not on purpose, by accident, um, whilst using this. Now, this is a really good thorough cleansing electrical device it is really going to get down into nitty gritty bits so don't do what i do and use a salicylic acid cleanser by cerave which is really really good but not what i did um and really exfoliate your skin with it and get that in there and then strip and f up your skin basically this is going to be nice for say your am cleanse which to be fair i need to start using her again i did stop for a couple of weeks because i needed to give it like a break but i'm definitely going to be using it again there is two different sides as well so this is the first side um which a little bit more softer this is more of like a rougher kind of side definitely more of an exfoliating kind of side that one can i say side anymore side <laughs> I apologize how long this video is and I hope this has really helped you. So that is the end of my video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I do apologize how bloody long it is, <laughs> but hopefully some of these products have helped you or given you ideas um, or you know, if you've tried them or you're all nervous about trying them, but now you didn't know much more about it. I don't know what I'm saying basically. Anyway, if you've enjoyed today's video, please give it a big a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, but if you would like to, make sure you hit that notification bell and then that way you'll be notified when I next upload and I'll see you guys in a brand new video soon. Bye.